Listen, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but you know, be going to the doctor a lot lately, Jeff. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> if you want to talk about uh, you know what's going on with you, because uh, you may miss a couple days, you know, yeah. here and there, it's not because you're incarcerated. No, everybody assumes. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe. Hey, don't rule that out. That's good. Whenever could Jeff, Jeff, is, out. Whenever be Jeff is out, everybody assumes you're incarcerated for right. something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm at least being questioned. <laughs> It is, uh, it is that crazy industry that we do for a living that when you're not at work, everybody knows immediately. And yep. when you have like Crohn's disease or something, everybody's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, but the reason I have been going to the doctor a lot lately is we all are all very, very competitive people around here. And we Wait, always... one what? second. Okay. Let me, uh, this is what I normally play. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Lefty Borton is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, that's that usually, usually what people assume. Usually what people... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. Jesus <laughs> Christ, my hands are sweating over here. That, that made me laugh, so thank you. Uh, no, I just, we're very, very competitive people around here. Uh, you have to be. you got to have a little bit of an ego to be in this industry. Um... So I was very, very, very upset that Tony got all that attention for cancer. So I decided to go ahead and get some cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and while Riz is laughing and Jeff's joking, this is for real. Like, yeah, yeah it was for uh, real. Jeff went and got cancer because you had cancer. Yeah, yeah I was got got they had a special. No. You one upping bastard. Yeah. yeah, they had a they had a good price right now for it. So. Yeah, I just uh, they actually know Jeff had a bogo. He kept going to people's houses saying, "I'm going to stand by your microwave while you turn it on." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, no, but he went swimming been... <laughs> at the and the where, where a nuclear reactor is. Yeah, he moved <laughs> under the power lines intentionally. Uh, yeah, no. So it's just uh, it's just a normal old uh, um, blood test with uh, our friends over at Victor Men's Health. Thank goodness, testing me every three uh, months, and it turns out I have prostate cancer. So, but. But, yeah, supposedly it is the wow. kind of prostate, prostate cancer, cancer that you're going to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was checked. Tushy? I mean, I want results because they can't do anything else to me. You know what I mean? They've yeah. done every single thing, and uh, it was confirmed on Friday. So I got to, I just made, <clears throat> sorry, an appointment for this week to set up. I already started uh, pills and shots on Friday. I got to do a shot a month and a pill every single day. And then uh, starting probably next week, I got to do chemo, which kind of sucks. But yeah, right. How much of the chemo do you have to do? Uh, six sessions, three weeks apart. So the, whenever the first one is, I wait three weeks, do another one. I right. do six of them total. Then they check my PSA level, which is where all this starts. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's going down. So the way it ought to, to bring it all back, uh, last September, when the last time I had my PSA level checked, it was 1.75, which from what I'm told, two to four is a good range for somebody my age. Uh, so they just routine check in November or whatever it was, and it was uh, 24. Yeah, that's not good. Wow. And they said, they're like, this doesn't happen. This doesn't go from 175 to 24, especially with somebody who's in relative good health right, for right. my age and all that other stuff. So they're like... It's very strange because they ask lifestyle questions, yeah, yeah. Uh, certain things that do you do this certain thing? And I said, uh -huh. no. Uh, they asked two things do I do on a regular basis? And one of them was a yes, and it was riding a bicycle. So they thought maybe that could push right. it up. Uh, all the things that have happened with my Crohn's, maybe that could change. Um, so I did a DRE, or I didn't do it, the doctor did. What is it, the, DRE? Uh, digital rectal exam. Uh, yeah. Uh, Let's with, put a camera up there. Which, actually, is, the, yeah. which is the easiest of goes. We do have audio from that. Yeah. <laughs> That is, that is right Jeff there. during his DRE. And by the way, this is all at uh, South County Urological with the Huatmas, mm. by the way. Um, so we start with that. And because of everything inside up there with my Crohn's, he really couldn't figure anything out, which he decided to tell me in front of all of the office staff, which is apparently something he does, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, as far as I went up there, I couldn't feel anything, and he kept pointing at his finger. How far off did he get? He's right, right, right to the middle of the bend of the elbow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right before the turn. He was waving to the nurse out my mouth. Let's oh, put that oh yeah. God. Uh, so we did that. <laughs> then we do a uh, we did an MRI. We did a PET scan. Um, what does Wheezy have to do with this? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, we did a uh, CAT scan. Uh, we obviously did blood work, pee work, all that kind of stuff. And uh, and that's what it came back with. So when I found out, yes, you have prostate cancer, then it's, is it the kind that we can treat 
with these shots and these pills. And it turned out to be, that's what I found out Friday was yes. Thank mm -hmm. goodness. Great. Yeah. And they found it on some bone, too, down in my hip area. Oh, they did a, a bone biopsy through my back, the small of my back. Oh, that's fun, I'm Ouch. sure. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, it was uh, afterwards is the only time it hurt because they put me out basically yeah, yeah. with the fentanyl. Oh, that's basically, good. Basically, yeah. You got some extra? Yeah, I did. I got some from everybody for Christmas. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is that, will that keep till December? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> My birthday's going up. So, uh, yeah, so all those things combined. I had the appointment Friday where they said, don't worry, you got the kind of cancer that we wanted you to get that we, it's not curable, but it's right. treatable. That's great. And, you know, after you ball your eyes out and you say, why me? All that other kind of stuff, you know, they look at you and say, you're not going to die from this. Right. So, of course, that's oh, the first that's thing. Good. You think, oh, my God, I got cancer. I'm yeah. going to die. And, you know, right, the doctors so. say, you're not going to die. If... If anything, the blessing is you go regularly for checkups and blood work and stuff. Yeah. You know, thanks to Victory Men's Health for, yeah. Right, for yeah. Yeah. catching this. And then, you know, they're like, hey, go see Hawatma. Right. Yeah. And that's the other they didn't, they didn't say, hey, your numbers are huge. Go, good luck. You know, they got me with, with the doctors and they've been checking on me ever since. So thank you to them. Th I mean, thank God this is very treatable yeah. and it doesn't look like any surgery. No, as long as it's, it's this stuff and then six months test the PSA again and and it should be back down to where it's a, where it's supposed to be because we're treating it as the cancer that it is diagnosed to be mm. so we're so, treating it the exact same way if they sent me the Mayo Clinic all that stuff yeah so so what I what I've kind of gathered is there's like two types of quote what unquote, do you know the, right the two types of like the I uh, the doctors hope you have this type of prostate cancer. Correct. It's the ones that are very confined that like my dad had where they can just go in and get rid of the prostate. Just yeah. and especially being his age, it was that was the smart decision. Go in and get it. And there's kinds like yours where they're like, listen, we could treat this. Right. It's just gonna take medicine, it's gonna take some shots, it's gonna take chemo, it's all, you know, right there and and, and you could get it knocked out by following our plan and you don't have to necessarily quote unquote worry. I mean, obviously you're gonna worry. But this is like the best case scenario. Yeah, yes, I'm the healthiest kid at sick camp, basically, yes. is the way to put this. That's, That's what I'm trying to look at. Just, you know, we're all behind you. Thanks, That's man. That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, I was uh, say, it sounds like a colossal pain in the you. bum, but it is always we're in good front news. Of you. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna get out front of this thing. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, and I also had the uh, the tube through the pee hole. Oh, that's uh, oh, it's a oh, 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 no. no. Good. No. Time. <laughs> What's, and here's the first time I had it done was 30 years ago, probably. No, no, the last time I had it done was probably a couple years ago. And years you lay ago. down, you take your, they leave, you take your pants down to your ankles, and they put a sheet over you that yep. you know is paper sheet. Yep. And then they tear a little hole or, yep. or a big hole, depending on how warm it is in the room. <laughs> and they pull everything through. Yeah. Giant hole, yeah. This, <laughs> this time I'm laying there covered up, and Watma comes in and just rips it up. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. Let's just, get down to business. Just pulled the cover off the buffet immediately. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> and got to it. Huh? Yeah, I mean, he wasn't that guy. He just said, let's do this. I said, okay. I'm so happy I get to say this because, A, it, it is a Jeff Burton thing to say, and, B, it, it all makes sense and relates. Found out he has prostate cancer, but still a giant a-hole. Oh, yeah. thanks. I would never say that yeah. about you. Only <laughs> every person ever. In the hallway, when I come back, somebody goes, hey, Tony, how you feeling? I go, good, man, thanks. And Jeff goes, he's still a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you get to do that to him. I get to do yeah. that to him now. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, so prognosis is good, and you know, you'll yeah. have to be out every once in a while with, yeah. you know, to do uh, what you got to do. But, of course, your health and your family come first. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, just so you know, when you're gone, we will be auditioning your seed for you. Perfect. <laughs> Man, you, you know that's already you know in his head. Exact he amount. better not miss a whole lot of work. <laughs> you you gave me slightly more support than I thought you were going to give me. So you better not miss any work. You better not miss a single day. And yeah. you know what? That's the thing. I that's one of the reasons why I not to hesitate to say anything yet today. But I don't know if I'm going to miss work. I know the first one is very long as far as how long it takes to put it in you because they want to see how it, you're reacting to right. it. But after that, if I can get them all done, like schedule on a Friday and just miss six Fridays total, I would be okay with that. Nah, man, you better be to work every day. Okay, you better Friday's not take off. You better not take right. off December fifteenth through January twentieth. You better definitely not do that. Mm -hmm. right. My bad, guys. And just remember, when you're riding your bike now, keep the seat on. That would, that'll wow, be Scott. Good. The guy's got cancer. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ever since I got cancer, you're an a-hole, man. Riz, or Jeff, Jeff, one more and we run this joint. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, who's with but us? Now it's two against three. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, please never. Don't ever get that. That's the no. joke. Sorry about that. Don't get cancer. <laughs> Don't get cancer. I forgot. Now me and Jeff are the only ones that can make these jokes. Yeah, that's yep. right. Yep. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> 
But the good news is I got on the COVID list now. I get All my right. shot. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only reason I got to get cancer up. to get the COVID Just want a vaccine, thing. huh? Yeah. yeah. That's the only reason he got it. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a break. <laughs>